surprises of last three years. Good surprises. We don't go beyond our means. What we can do, we stay within. So we're not out there just spending and spending and spending and hoping that we will have growth. No. I won't do that as a leader. Won't allow it. I believe in a cash flow healthy institution. That what we are. And we will continue to say, stay that way. So what is PG ambition in order to support this growth that we are talking about? Well, um, you know, we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago or three weeks ago about looking at new equipment, new, uh, new tractors. They are running a quarter million dollars. The last tractor we bought was 147,000. So to pay additional 100,000 is unsurmountable. We are, we are leaning back on repairing smart repairing, maintenance of the current fleet first to, so that fleet doesn't stop working. That's one. Second, we have built a truly a working solution when it comes to logistics. It's a very smart operation that we have running with our partner carriers. And there's hundreds of good carriers. And David, your team has, has shown by producing these great partnerships over the last five years, especially last two years, as we have grown quite a lot since 2019, 2018, that we can get the same level of service by using the right carrier at the right time. So that has been supporting the growth, clearly, because our equipment amount hasn't gone up over the last two years, it's the same, it's steady. Equipment has gotten older. Yes, we need to get new equipment because we've always taken pride in getting, you know, five-year-old truck traded in or three-year-old truck traded in based on mileage and get a new one. So we have to let this inflation piece calm down, which it will, because the market cannot afford two hundred fifty thousand dollar tractor. We can't. Just like we cannot afford seven dollars a gallon fuel. Our customers are not going to have money to pay for the freight if we have to build them for these extra costs. We have reduced our rates, but it's not covering the whole cost. So we're not going to go out there and start buying $250,000 trucks at this time. But the future growth, as that comes to a sensible number, yes, we are going to buy more trucks. We're going to look for, like we always do, qualified drivers to assist that growth. But at this time, we're going to stay lean and we're going to count on our partner carriers to support the growth, which thus far, and we watch it very closely on service, because that's what we are. We are service provider. And I haven't seen service decays, service failures. That would be concern. That would be cause of serious concern when it comes to our carriers. So the growth we are planning to be supported by our niche carriers.